In this lecture, let's explore a conundrum that often arises when sorting using a query by example tool. I'm using the LibreOffice uh, base tool, and uh, I've got a little database here, which is my school uh, HSQ LDB database. And uh, I'm going to make a very simple query, and we'll start out in the design view. I'm just going to add the person table. And my specification says that I am to add the first name followed by the class name. Let's check that. And that query runs. Uh, but uh, that I am to sort these so that they are sorted first by the last name and as the minor sort key by the first name. And uh, a naive approach, I mean, very reasonably, you would come in here and say, oh, well, I'll tell it first sort on last name and then sort on first name. And let's see what happens. And you're like, oh, wait, that's sorting first on the first name, and then the secondary sort criteria is the last name. Well, that's not at all what I want. Um, did I do that in the wrong order? And you do it again, and you say, well, gee, it doesn't matter. Um, you say, well, I could solve it this way. I could move the two fields, and now it's sorting first by last name and then by first name. But the problem is my specification said I was to display the first name and then the last name. So how do you solve this problem with the query by example tool? And um, it can be a little bit cryptic if you haven't faced this or solved this before, you don't know the, the sneaky trick. So here's the sneaky trick, okay? Let's just take both those fields and make them not sorted at all. And let's go back up to our table view. And let's add another copy, this time last name first and then first name. Now, I don't want to display two copies of the first and last name, which is what would happen if I just ran that right now. But I can hide these two fields. So I've got redundant fields here, it seems, but I'm only showing them once. And now in my hidden fields, which are ordered left to right, last name, first name, now if I put my sort in and make them sort ascending, it's going to sort first by the last name, then by the first name, even though the, the, the visible portion, the display portion, is going to show the first name before the last name. Let's run it and see if that's true. Okay, so sanity check here. Is my last name alphabetized? A, B, C, F? Yep, I'm going, and then the first name, if I had have, had a duplicate last name, would then be um, subsorted by the first name. And so that's how we solve that conundrum. Um, we just make uh, extra copies of the fields and it doesn't really even uh, result in any duplication because if we look at the SQL that's actually been created here, um, let's break this up so it's a little easier to read. So see, even though your query by example um, console is showing you the first name in the display, the select clause, and the first name in the order by clause, they're, they're not really going to be uh, redundant because only things in the select clause are gonna be shown. Here's the table name and here's our ordering in the order by clause. And this has nothing to do with whether or not they are displayed, and in this case they are displayed. And since they are, we will be able to see visibly that they are sorted but we're sorting first by last name and next by first name, okay? Um, that really is the essential of what you need to understand. Let me offer one other elaboration. Let's go back to our design view. And if you're really astute, you may have noticed, and look what our query, be, query by example window has done for us, is because I had last name, first name, and the, the, the sort order was correct, it's, it's eliminated the duplication from the display in the console. And so it's first name, 
not sorted, last name sorted, followed by first name sorted but not shown. And so that it amounts to the same thing. And so we could have just built it that way. And in fact, the intelligence in the um, built into the product um, kind of figured that out. And so it dropped the additional reference to um, the, the last name. If we wanted to add it back in, we could, and it would go away again the next time we, we ran it. But it's helpful when we're looking at it to kind of drop in extra copies. Let's drop this out. Let's turn this back to not sorted. And just to, rem to, to remind you how we built that is we simply came up and we can either drop them from pulling them from the fields or we could simply come here and say, oh, let's make another copy. And this time I want last name and then first name. And I don't want to display them, but I do want to sort them last name first, then sorted by first name. And so the sorting, minor, major key to minor key is always going to be left to right. So we want the major keys to be listed to the left. And again, when we run that, it's all happy. And if I were to, if I want to see these consolidated, you see that, that since last name really is already here, we could have just said, you know, let's sort this ascending get rid of that and it amounts to the same thing. There's no real change there. It's a little bit more compact and the, the query builder will actually do it, do that for us if we um, had switched to the SQL view and then back to the uh, design view. Um, it would have recognized that and dropped the, the, the extra reference to the field. Okay, so you would simply do that. Go to design view, come back, and oh, and now it's messed us up because we lost our last name ascending. Let's see what we got in the query. Oh, we lost our ordering. So let's do it this way. We'll write the query by the by writing the SQL statement. And now let's see if we've got that back in the design view. Yeah, there we go. And run it. And we're displaying the first name first, then the last name, but we're sorting on the last name, and then the secondary sort on the first name. So there you are, some uh, quirkiness in the uh, QBE window and how to work around it when you're trying to show the, the fields in one particular order, but sort them in a different order.